Good morning, you guys. It's Friday, and we are out yard sailing at the citywide yard sale today. There's a total of 28 yard sales on the list, and then there's a few other people have set up as well. We've already gone to three yard sales, and we've actually found a few finds already. So um, we're going to continue garage selling, and I'll show you guys what we find. <laughs> all right it's 11:30, and we just finished up all of the yard sales we got quite a few things, not a whole bunch, but we're gonna head into town now. Um, we have a few errands to run, and then we're gonna head to Michael's work. There's a pond behind his work, and we're gonna catch some tadpoles. Here, look. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> he has one eye. One he's, oh yeah, and he's still got part of his tail. Yeah. Why does he have one eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder what causes it only having one eye. You wanna hold him, sis? Here. It's okay. No, come here. You can do it. Yeah. He won't hurt you. Oh. There you go. Wow. You did it. Should we put him back? Yeah. All right. We had no luck catching tadpoles, but we did catch um, one frog that only had one eye, which was kind of cool. But now we are going to go get some lunch. I'm not sure where we're going to go, but hopefully somewhere tasty. Mm. And then a spicy Chick-fil-A sandwich. Oh, it's good. Sauce. Good. Okay, we just got home and these are all our yard sale treasures that we found. Um, starting with, I think this was the first thing that we found right here, these little baskets for flowers. We're gonna um, paint these white and put them on the side of our new shed. And then um, Michael found this wrist rocket for Barrett. And then he also found this Lodge cast iron pan. It's a little rusty, we'll have to reseason it. Um, and it was, they were asking five, but he asked if they would do four and they said yes. Um, I got a pair of shorts, a little banner, um, for the schoolroom, I'm going to be redecorating it and it's going to be rainbow themed. And then I got two books. This one I think was a dollar, Self-Sufficient Life and How to Live It. And then I had actually listened to a podcast about this book set that they have. Um, and so we picked, I picked this up, The Ten Boys Who Didn't Give In. And then just like a little metal trivet for hot pans. Um, and a hole punch. That was on my list of things to keep an eye out for because I needed one for homeschool. I got a deviled egg holder and then a basket for either eggs or when we go to pick produce out of the garden. So for everything that we picked up today, it only cost us $16.50. I definitely say that the Lodge cast iron pan was the best find of the day. So this is what Barrett picked out when he was garage sailing. You got this little Lego set. Oh, it's a little house and a car. And then it's just this little set that folds up like a little carrying case. And he got that for $2. This is Oakley's find of the day. She got this baby alive. What did you name it? 
Lila. Baby Lila. And they were asking $4 for this baby live, and she asked them if they would do three, and they said that they would. So right now, I'm gonna put together the meatballs for dinner. Um, I'm not gonna go through like exactly how I make them. I do have a video where I prepped meatballs before, and I'll leave that video link in the description box below. Um, and then I think for the rest of the day, we're just gonna kinda dink around the house. Michael's in the process of cleaning the garage. And then tonight, I think that we're gonna go out and caulk the shed that we just had built. Um, we have to paint it within 30 days of purchase um, to keep the warranty. And then I definitely wanna spend some time in the garden. It's a little bit after six. Michael's still working in the garage. He's already gotten a lot done. It looks a million times better. We've started a free or a small free pile on the curb. The kids are outside riding their scooters and kind of running around the yard. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna get dinner ready. It's gonna be super simple tonight. Michael already made the sauce earlier and I made the meatballs earlier. So all I have to do is assemble the sandwiches and cook some zucchini. We're just gonna steam those zucchini. They're ones that grew in the garden and I'm really excited to eat them. Um, the bread that we're using, um, I didn't want to go to the grocery store this week and so I made my own hoagie rolls. They look okay. They're not the prettiest, but I think they'll serve a purpose. And if they're good, I will leave that recipe, um, in the description box. These are the hoagie rolls that I made yesterday. As you can see, it was a learning curve and this one did not turn out good. This probably won't make a good sandwich, but these are big enough that I'm going to actually cut these in half and then slice them open. I'm going to, um... Toast them up a little bit in the oven, and then we're gonna stuff these with meatballs and provolone, provolone cheese, put them back in the oven on broil just to get everything melty, and I think they're gonna be really good. I'm, I'm hoping these are good, they're super simple to make, um, and it would be perfect for times that I can't make it to the grocery store. I just pulled these out of the oven. They're all nice and toasty with melty cheese. They're not as pretty as my normal ones, but I think they're gonna be pretty good. They smell delicious. All right, we just finished up with dinner. Barrett's still eating his last couple bites, and it was really good. Everybody liked it. I asked Michael, since he tends to be a little bit more picky, if he liked the hoagie roll recipe, and he said he actually really liked it. I asked him, would you rather, like, would you prefer store-bought or the homemade ones? And he said it, it was such a tiny difference that it wouldn't really matter. So. Um, I will link that recipe for you guys down below and then after I get picked up We told the kids that we would take them out back to play a game of cornhole and then other than that I think we're pretty much done for the day So I just wanted to say thank you guys for tagging along for another day